No, thank you. No. Oh, do you see? Yeah. Mm. Well, you don't have to worry about You're that. You're great. house. Mm. <laughs> this book is house. really rich. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, over 15 Arabian horses. Mm. 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 I have. You need another great thing. Oh, so hard. Yeah. 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 Come on, let's play. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. He might have a real one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Arthur. Your heart is failing, Mr. Harris. Um, as you know, cholesterol buildup has caused you to suffer your minor angina attack. Um, the angiogram um, that we conducted confirms that uh, you need a surgery. Surgery? But why? Unfortunately, um, your eating and smoking habits are finally catching up with you. Doctor, I haven't smoked in 30 years. Yes, but the damage done in your youth um, still remains evident. Um, you've made some bad choices and uh, now your body is suffering the consequences. My professional opinion is that we immediately do surgery to prevent uh, early death. Early death? How early? I mean, how much longer do I have to live? Look at it this way. Um, your unhealthy lifestyle has caused your hourglass pace to quicken. Now the sand is falling, and uh, eventually your time will run out, and the last grain of sand will fall. Um, if the surgery is successful, um, you'll need to change your eating habits quickly. How risky is this surgery? You know, I, I have a wife, I have children, I have grandchildren, and I'd like to be able to tell them that everything is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. There's only a two to four percent uh, fatality rate with uh, coronary bypass. Uh, of course, your your arteries are, are worse than most I've seen. Arthur Harris. Uh, odds are still in your favor, but without a surgery, you could have months to live. Mm -hmm. 